Hello again. Um, just just back back to our hotel. Another fancy campanile. We love France. Um, yeah, just back from stage five. Long day out. Long day out for the lads. Um, rode really well. We uh, we were we were good in the tent from the start and made sure a nice breakaway went at the start, which which yeah was good for us and one we could we could control. Um, I spoke together with the the Belgians and the Dutch at the start, and you know, we all agreed to to put one up there and control the race and you know, bring bring things together for a sprint. It was a pretty straightforward day, uh, a bit up and down, but we had a we had quite a strong headwind all day, so it was yeah it was I would have been really surprised if it wasn't a sprint today. But yeah, we had we had Bob Bob Donaldson up on the front today doing a doing a shift for the lads. Um, he rode a good race. He. Yeah, I think he, he burnt a few burgers today. Um, coming into the finish, we we had Ollie, uh, Ollie Stockwell and and Lewis, and uh, and Tom all looking after Ethan into into the final. It was a it was a downhill finish again today. Um, downhill from about six k out into a a corner with seven hundred meters to go, and we rode it really well. Lewis again was spot on with Ethan. Unfortunately, Ethan dropped his chain with about five hundred meters to go just after that last corner, um, which which put him out of the game, and Lewis had already done his effort at that point, so couldn't really um, yeah get a get a proper sprint on or anything. But young gone for fourth, which is which is decent. Um, so yeah, happy with it. You know, we we have to think about the the process and the plan and how we execute that, and not always the result. Uh, disappointing, of course, when you get a mechanical, but it's not going to be the last time um, we have mechanicals. I think it's just the nature of the game, unfortunately. Sometimes these bloody bikes don't work, do they? Um, but now it was, it was, it was all right. It was all right. A decent day. And we're into the hills tomorrow. They've just cut the stage short by um, by about twenty thirty k, which is which chopped out one of the last big climbs. Which Tom's not too happy about, but Ethan seems to be a bit a uh, bit more chirpy about it. So um, so yeah, it's it's over to Tom from now. We're we're gonna put all our eggs in his basket and see what we can do in these last four days. Cheers, everyone.